kwa mara ya kwanza hospitali ya taifa ya Mwimbili Mloganzila imefanya upasuaji wa kondoo uvimbe kwenye ubongo kupitia pua bila kupasua fuvu la kichwa. Upasuaji huo umefanywa na madaktari bingwa wa Mloganzila kwa kushirikiana na daktari kutoka nchini Marekani. Mkurugenzi mtendaji wa hospitali ya taifa Mwimbili Profesa Janabi akizungumza na vyombo vya habari katika hospitali ya Mloganzila ameyasema haya kwanza naomba nishukuru sana timu yetu yote ilo shiriki jana timu ya dr Geregezi upande wa shipa fahamu dr Edwin upande wa masikio pua na ko na of course eh, professor Elagara kutoka Phoenix Marekani eh, jana kama mlivyosikia mwalimu hapo wa miaka 46 kwa na uvimbe mkubwa ndani ya kichwa na ni chini kabisa kwenye tezi pale inaitwa pituitary. Sasa kwanza athari moja mwalimu alikuwa anapoteza kuona. E, kuona alikuwa hawezi kuona na inge mwisho kabisa kwamba angepoteza kabisa sight asingeweza kuona. Lakini vitu gani vikubwa vimetokea hapa? Tulipata taarifa ya huyu mgonjwa. Sasa kwa kushirikiana na e, profesa Lagara vifaa vyote viko katika hospitali hapa tuna theater za kisasa ICU kama mlivyoona kwa sababu huyu mgonjwa badala ya kukimbizwa India kwa sababu anafundisha Brebel International School wana uwezo mkubwa kabisa wa kuweza kumpeleka mgonjwa India tukawashauri kwamba kwa nini msije tukafanyia hapa tutafanya pamoja na dr Lagara sasa kikubwa hapa kwanza kama alivyoeleza dr Edwin kwa kawaida tungepasua kichwa chote alafu kutoa uvimbe lakini kama mlivyomwona mgonjwa ule uvimbe umetolewa kupitia kwenye pua. Na mgonjwa kama mlivyomwona pale anatutambua sisi wote anatambua madaktari wale wamfanyia operation. Kwa e, moja kwanza tushukuru sana serikali kwa kuwekezaji kwa sababu kama mlivyomwona hapa Profesa Lagara amekuja yeye kama yeye. E, manesi wote ni wa kwetu. Walioingia kwenye njia ya pua ni madaktari wetu kina Edwin kwa yeye na timu ya Dr. Nyeregezi ni katika kutoa ule uvimbe kule ndani na kama aliposema ushirikiano utaendelea na tunaamini baada ya kufanya kesi chache huko mbele kesi zote zitafanywa na timu yetu ya ndani kwa sababu vifaa vyote vipo nishukuru sana timu ya huku inaongozwa na Dr. Magandi na ni raia yangu tu kwa raia kwa wananchi wote kwanza kuhusu bima naomba watu wakati bima kwa sababu operation hii ni kubwa lakini huyu mwananchi ana bima ndio fanya kila kitu kimekuwa covered na bima na siku zote atakazokaa hapa pili kuwa na imani na hospitali yetu kama mnavyoona mgonjwa yuko ametamka yetu vyote vya ICU viko ready full tuna asilimia hamsini ya hospitali imejaa leo na tuna imani kubwa kwamba kadi siku zinapokwenda tutafanya hizi operation nyingi zaidi kitengo chetu cha moyo kiko hapa kamili kitendo cha stroke kiko hapa kamili kwa hapa matibabu ubobezi yatazidi mtazidi kuyaona yakiendelea kwenye hospitali yetu ya Mwimbili pande zote mbili kule mjini Upanga na hapa Mlogazira na hapa imekuwa bora zaidi kwa mgonjwa huyu kwa sababu tuna nafasi kubwa zaidi ya kufanya mazoezi na nafasi kubwa katika ICU bila kuwa na msongamano mkubwa kama tulivyopanga kwa raia yetu wananchi wa amini hospitali yetu Dr. Delan Elagala I'm a neurosurgeon from the Barrow Neurologic Institute in Phoenix Arizona in America um, the case that we did yesterday is a complex skull base uh, tumor it's a, a tumor coming from the pituitary gland but it's an unusual case where the base of the skull had to be drilled out in order to access the tumor and take it out. Um, this is really, uh, and the patient uh, is doing well. We, uh, we believe we got all of the tumor out and today uh, he's doing extremely well. Uh, this is really possible to be done because of the team that's here at Mulaganzila, at Muhimbili uh, Hospital, because of the equipment that's here, the, the facilities, and the fantastic surgeons and, and nurses and team that's here. So the goal is really to be able to do the most advanced neurosurgical care here in Tanzania rather than having our patients and our people have to leave the country for the best care possible. 
This is a partnership between William Bili, Mulganzila National Hospital, uh, the government of Tanzania, Madaktari Africa, and the Barrow Neurologic Institute. And I'm very pleased to have been part of it.